Okay, so picture this. You're in a job interview. You're nailing every question, feeling pretty good about your chances, but then boom, they hit you with the one everyone hates. Oh, I know it. Uh, what is your greatest weakness? Right. You got it. Sends chills down your spine every time, doesn't it? But we're tackling it head on today in this deep dive. We're going to figure out how to take that dreaded question and actually make it work for us. Sounds like a plan because it really can be an opportunity if you handle it right. It can be. And luckily for us, we've got some advice to break it down. We're going to be checking out this YouTube video by the company's expert who claims to have all the secrets. Oh, yeah, I've seen their stuff. They're big on viewing things from the interviewer's perspective, which can be really insightful. That's so key, though, isn't it? Because it's easy to forget they're not just trying to trip us up. They're actually looking for something specific. Exactly. This company's expert, they have this great way of putting it. They say the interviewer is often looking for, and I quote, sudden death elimination. Sudden death. Wow. So it's like one wrong move and you're out. No pressure. Right? Pretty much. They want to narrow down the field fast. And this question, unfortunately, is a really easy way to do it. So how do we avoid giving them that easy out? Well, this is where understanding the interviewer's mindset is crucial. And this expert argues that what they're really looking for is not necessarily a major flaw, but a sign of self-awareness. You got to show you're willing to grow. So we're talking about a growth mindset. Right? Mm -hmm. Instead of dwelling on negatives, we show how we learn from challenges. Exactly. Highlight that adaptability. And the company's expert lays out a really interesting framework for doing just that. He calls it the best answer ever. OK. I am intrigued. The best answer ever. Tell me more. The best answer ever, huh? Okay, you got to break this down for me. How does this magical answer actually work? So it's all about this clever little formula. You start off by mentioning a strength, but one that could also be seen as a weakness if you're not careful. For example, you could say, I'm someone who's very driven to get things done on time. I have really high standards. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Being driven is great, but I guess it could also tip over into being, like, a little too demanding sometimes. Yeah. Right? Exactly. You're spot on. You acknowledge that potential downside. You say something like, and sometimes, because I'm so focused on meeting deadlines, I can get a little impatient if other people aren't quite on the same page. So you're owning it. You're not pretending that little flaw doesn't exist, which I kind of like because nobody's perfect, right? Yeah, nobody's perfect. And then this is where it gets interesting. You immediately flip it and offer a solution. This shows that growth mindset we were talking about. Oh, OK. I see where you're going with this. So how would you phrase that? You could say, but I've come to realize how important clear communication is. So now I make a point of getting my team involved right from the start. We set realistic timelines together. Right. Which keeps everyone motivated and prevents things from getting bottlenecked later on. Exactly. Oh. It shows you're proactive. I love it. So it's like, yeah, that's a potential downside. but. Here's how I've actually learned to manage it and turn it into a strength. You've got it. And the beauty is it works on a bunch of different levels. It shows you're self-aware, you can learn from your mistakes, and you adapt. Those are all really good things in an interviewer's book. 100%. Plus, by structuring your answer like this as a strength-weakness solution, you're not just confessing to a flaw. You're telling a story about growth. Way more compelling. Memorable, too. Exactly. And let's not forget those all-important soft skills. You're demonstrating communication, teamwork, problem solving. It's like hitting all the right notes. This is making me wish I could go back and redo every interview where I fumble that question. Seriously, I used to dread it. But this approach is genius. It takes something potentially negative and actually turns it into a positive. That's the goal. It's all about reframing. And the best part is, it's not one size fits all. You can adapt it to you. So find a genuine area where you've grown that's relevant to the job. Mm. Show them you've put in the work. Yes, because you wouldn't want to talk about, say, struggling with public speaking if you're going for a sales position. No, not a great idea. But if it was, say, a software development role, mm. you could talk about like getting caught up in the technical details sometimes. And then you'd say something like, to counter that, I've started being really intentional about staying connected to the bigger picture. Like every morning, I make sure to review the main project goal. So everything I do actually, you know, takes us in the right direction. Perfect. Yeah. That's what it's all about. You took a potential weakness and showed how you turned it into a strength. I'm telling you, this strength weakness solution thing, game changer. Our listeners are going to ace those interviews now. No more dreading that weakness question. And I hope so. It's really all about changing your perspective. Show them you're always growing. And remember, interviews are a two-way street. It's about finding the right fit.
And that means being honest about where you're still learning. Absolutely. So instead of fearing the weakness question, we're going to embrace it. It's a chance to show them we're self-aware, we're resilient, and we've got that growth mindset they're looking for. A hundred percent. Think about a time you faced a challenge at work. How did you grow from that experience? That could be your best answer ever in your next interview. Such good advice. All right, everyone listening, go out there and crush those interviews. And a big thanks to the company's expert for the awesome insights. We'll catch you all on our next deep dive.